Hey what's up guys this is KD Cloudy and since a lot of you guys asked for it this is Resurrection Remix review for the Nexus 5. Now Resurrection Remix is already quite popular and very well reputed but I always saw it as some generic ROM with a flashy logo and a flashy name but as I used it for the first time my opinions were quite changed. So the installation process is quite easy just flash the ROM and flash OpenG app 7.1 ARM through warp recovery and you are basically good to go. No need to root as it already has root out of the box, so that's nice. Now the first boot, I must say it was quite refreshing to see the remix boot animation. I mean it looks a lot cooler than any other boot animations out there. Ok now let's talk about the features for a second now. The first glaring change is the pixel user interface for which it has the pixel launcher with google now, all the round icons and then it has google assistant which is really nice but unfortunately it lacks the home button animation like the pixel but that's ok. Now the next set of features are totally customization oriented and all of these functions are tucked in this personalization setting and once you open it, holy shit there's a shit load of settings over here. I mean there are so many settings and so many features that there's not even enough time to go through it all and to the point that you don't even need half of them. But it's still nice that they're there and, and you have the choice to have the user experience exactly the way you want. Like it gives you the choice to make your notification trade look like this or this. The choice to make your quick settings panel like this or this. The choice to have this clear all apps button or this one. The choice to have your navigation bar like this or this. The choice to have this power menu or this one. The recent apps like this or this or even this. You get the choice to have pie controls. You get the choice to decide the font of the clock on the lock screen. And you even get the choice to change the opacity of the volume controls. And the best of all, you get the choice to keep or remove the system apps. Well, you get the point basically, it's simple, the user has the choice on everything and Resurrection basically gives you complete control over every controllable element of your experience and I really like that fact because that's the whole point of custom ROMs, the word custom. You can customize basically everything at your disposal. But apart from all the customization and all the bells and whistles, stability is important too and the ROM feels unstable, just a little bit. Ok now I don't really mean that it's unusable but just that the performance and battery life are really inconsistent like sometimes it's really good and sometimes very mediocre. Like for the performance the animations felt really choppy at first but the rest of the stuff was fine but then after the reboot the animations and the spoon this were fine but it froze a couple of times. It wasn't really annoying as much but after getting used to Lineage OS's crazy fast performance I'd say that Resurrection Remix is like a B plus in performance. And the same goes for the battery which is kind of a hit or a miss and I barely got 2 hours of screen on time on light use at first like Twitter, Snapchat, Whatsapp, YouTube but then after some time I got 3 hours of screen on time with similar usage and I felt that dose really wasn't working and I got some pathetic standby times but uh, I, it was it was overall uh, it was okay I guess not as good as Lineage OS but still fine. But what about bugs and issues? Well it has a couple of issues. First, some system apps crash frequently and apps like Instagram and WhatsApp crash quite a bit but apart from that I found this weird audio routing bug which I came across when I was on a run early in the morning listening to some sweet sweet Ed Sheeran on my group with earbuds and then I get a random phone call from my mom, I pick it up and I'm still able to listen to the sweet sweet Ed Sheeran both from the earpiece and the headphones and after talking to my mom later. I found out that she was also able to listen to the sweet sweet Ed Sheeran too. So yes, it sounds hilarious but that's what it is. Lastly, I need to address the biggest pro of this ROM which is Magisk. It's basically root out of the box, systemless root and I feel that it's better than Super SU in some ways and it also hides safety net detections for using Snapchat so that's another big deal. But overall, should you flash Resurrection Remix? Well, in my opinion, it's actually a great ROM which dives in deep into the essence of custom ROMs with loads of features, loads of customization opportunities. Yes, it has problems but they aren't that major and won't really come in the way of your daily experience. So if you like a bunch of features then Resurrection Remix is the way to go. But if you want the absolute best in stability, you can check out Lineage OS because that according to me is really smooth and really long lasting. But anyhow, despite its shortcomings, Resurrection Remix delivers a pretty sweet experience and due to that it falls into my book of the top 5 best custom ROMs for the Nexus 5. But either way that was a review for Resurrection Remix. That's been it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.